we've got a working, living, breathing um, membership out there. So you've already overcome a ton of fears and obstacles, but what other fears, obstacles, mindset issues um, are holding you back? Uh, you know, we often find that that's the thing that's actually keeping people from moving forward, uh, whether it's habits or in your online business. Um, are there any of those left right now? Or is it just, you're just boring straight ahead, ready to build some things? Um, no, I, I'm still kind of battling that. Well, I tried this before. I've been trying online. I had blogs and other memberships. I've had two other memberships. Um, and, you know, I'll, I I just, I've done it before and it hasn't worked. Why would it work this time? Oh, right. So then great, I. That's a great yeah. comment. Yeah. Um, where do you think that comes from? Just from the scars of the failures? Um, I think so. Yeah. I just, um, I, you know, like, well, I, I tried that. I'm trying to learn from what I did. Oh, I tried that. That didn't work. Like mm -hmm. what? <laughs> yeah. This one clearly has worked though, because you have gotten one member and I, I know that sounds so cliche and maybe when you get one, there is a way to find more. Right. There has to be there's that that person who joined habitmasters.me is not a special snowflake who is uniquely drawn to Sarah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not that's just not true. Um, but I do get that fear. But I, you know, I, I I actually find the most successful entrepreneurs are the people that have failed the most. Like before we started our first successful business, I tried like five or six things. I was a miserable failure. Like I I was so I failed so much that I remember the night I almost quit. I remember the night that I almost gave up. And, and, I, and I, I've, I've told this story before, but I was laying in bed and I was so depressed, Sarah, because I had tried and tried and tried and nothing worked. And I, I was laying in bed and I was laying flat on my back and my head was barely propped up on the pillow. And the laptop was literally on my chest. And I was so depressed at my miserable failures that I was trying to move the mouse with my chin. I couldn't even lift my hand up. <laughs> it was on my jet. I was just like, I can't even see. And like, I remember just seeing like, oh, just like the last time, just like the time before, just like the time before that, um, this website is making no money. It was just absolutely zero. Um, and then what, what, what I all, I remember thinking I'm going to quit. And, but then, uh, I, w I went back and checked the the data in my Google AdSense account and I hit refresh. And instead of a zero, there was 11 cents. And that one proof made me realize I just have to keep going. And if people, you just, the only way to get past this kind of fear is every little success must become the Super Bowl. That was the trick, the mental trick that I, I figured out. One person subscribed to my email list. That's a human being. You know what I'm saying? That's a human being that gave me a piece of their life because they took time to sign up for my email list, right? Yeah. Well, six people read my blog today. Oh, gosh, I'll be <laughs> seven tomorrow, you know? And then like that 11 cents, man, can it be $11? Let's see if we can get it to be $11. Um, I, I think this time, you know, because I've seen a couple, I've seen your attempts and I know that, I mean, that there's something feels different a little bit about this one. Does it feel different to you a little bit? You know, It does feel different. I think what it is, is I, I was trying to be, because I'm kind of a jack of all trades, right? Mm -hmm. I've spent so I've all of the these same. years learning all of this stuff. And like, I just regurgitate it all on people and like, they, they get super overwhelmed. Um, I think I was trying to do too much where in this one, um, if I'm just focused on these habits, yeah. what are the habits um, and teaching just the habits? Yes. I can answer your questions about, you know, health and you're certified. Health yeah. You're a health coach with a master's yeah. degree. I mean, of course you can. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't answer all those questions and it will become part of the part of it eventually. But right now I think I'm just trying to, I really have to pull myself back all the time and be like, nope, you're just, you know, let's just look through the lens of habits. Yes. Yes. And just keep it. And that might be, I, you know, I remember your other membership. I remember, I remember you trying to tell everything you ever learned. And that's the biggest mistake people make in the beginning yeah. is they think that I, I that comes from inside though. We all want to prove that we are the expert, right? Or we want to prove that we belong. We want to prove that we're accepted. That's some kind of biology imposter syndrome. And, yeah. Like imposter syndrome, like humans want the group to accept them for how much they can contribute, you know? And we don't realize that, you know, you, you don't have to contribute as much as you think you do. Yeah. You know, you just have to, you're, you're just there to kind of give people, uh, you know, you can, if someone wants to start a fire, all you have to, do, you don't have to collect the wood for them. You don't have to do it. You just have to hand them a match, you know? And uh, I, I, I heard, I, there's a great story about this, uh, 
uh, monk. I heard this somewhere on a podcast. They said this monk was spent, you know, he was, uh, you know, he, he spent 15 years in a cave meditating and trying to figure out how he could levitate and walk on water because he wanted to cross this river and he just, and he spent all of his time in it and he finally reached this enlightenment place where he could, you know, he could walk, uh, he could run as fast as he could. He could make it across the river and it took him 15 years uh, to get there. And then his mentor comes through and he tells his mentor, he's like, I, I've meditated. I have 15 years. I can finally run across the water and I can get from this side to that side. What do you think? And the mentor looks at him and goes, it only cost a nickel to ride the ferry. It's like, it's, it's like, what are you talking about, man? Like, like, what are you doing? You know, we think, we think we've got to be that. Yeah. And we've got to regurgitate that. And we've got to, and we got to figure it out, become that and tell everybody else the whole process of levitating across the water when I could just point.